Um, for the mo for the most part, Jay, just uh, burnout. I know with gems, uh, me and like some other game veterans, and I'm sure this could probably apply to other games as well. We don't like the direction the game is going. It just they're just uh, doing stuff on they're doing stuff on that game that I just don't care for. If you were around back when I was uh, streaming gems, I know I'd, I'd probably spend almost like two hours just in PvP. Well, they turn PvP into shit now. I don't, I don't care to do, I don't care to do it anymore. Um, I like the way they used to have it, but they decided to go ahead and you know, just do different stuff to it, stuff that I don't care for. So I have less of a reason to play it. Um, I know on there, just, I pretty much get in and get out just long enough to do the dailies. And then, you know, maybe a little bit of PvP or something, but that's it. And, uh, it's not, a. Uh, it's at a point where, especially that game there, it's not even worth streaming anymore, because I'm on maybe tops an hour and a half. And then as far as I, as far as like other games go, um, overall, I think it all hinges down to just my computer. I don't have the, I don't have the computer for, uh, I don't have the, my computer isn't good enough to handle uh, most other games, especially the modern ones. Not that I'd actually want to do the modern ones or anything. Yeah. And uh, there's a, there's um, I might have said this in other streams too, actually. Let me um. Uh, all right. But I might have said this in other streams too. But uh, probably the the big reason that I'm streaming basically exclusively pinball these days, um. I had what I call the Forrest Gump moment. You know that, you know that scene in Forrest Gump where he's just kind of sitting on the porch, just thinking of all, thinking of all the fucked up stuff that's happened in his life, and then just all of a sudden he gets up and he just just starts running, running, you know, running cross country, running, you know, all around America and stuff. That that's me with pinball. It seems to be the um. It's it's probably it's not my all-time favorite genre, but it's uh it's second only to RPGs in general. So I'm just I'm at a point where I'm pretty much burnt out on everything else. I can't really bring myself around to play pretty much any other RPG game. I mean, the few times I've actually tried, it's just oh. Uh, I played this kind of game before. Oh, this looks like or this looks like Darkest Dungeon. Uh, oh, this game here it looks like Final Fantasy Tactics. So I'm I'm at that point where it just nothing really excites me anymore. And then despite uh, so I'm pretty much here to stay. I'm. Uh, as far as pinball goes, I'm pretty much here to stay, unless I change my mind, which I don't see happening anytime soon. Because pinball, you almost never get the same game twice. So it just more variety. Again, despite my, you know, despite me getting frustrated and stuff. Gems of War is kind of like that, except it's way too heavy on the RNG. So, in that context there, I would much rather, uh, you know, 
as far as like you know losing you know losing games losing matches and stuff like that at least it's basically it's on me or I would rather it be on me because I missed a shot or because because of a bad you know, or a poorly timed nudge that thing basically you know doing good or bad is all on me a game like gems of war again a good chunk of that is like just RNG it's just something I have no control over RPGs generally have that though. They have a really strong RNG component, a lot of randomness, a lot of percentage chance. You know, a good chunk of the, those games are based on a uh, based on percentage chances, and I'm pretty sure you're kind of like that with racing as well. It kind of strikes me as that as well. You just winning and losing is pretty much all on you. There's hardly any uh, randomness at all. And I, and I guess uh, to talk fighting games as well, again, I don't, for the most part, I don't really have a computer, or my computer can't really handle most other uh, fighting games, especially the modern ones. I mean, hell, and that, and that also assumes that, uh, that also assumes that they don't crash on my computer. Even uh, Pinball FX3, that still crashes from time to time. I mean, I, that, that's what I was wanting to say. And most, uh, fighting game, most, uh, most of the modern fighting games are where all the people are at. My, uh, my favorite fighting games are fucking dead. Like, nobody plays them. Uh, Footsies, my, uh, my all-time favorite, my all-time favorite 2D fighter, no one plays it. The most you could hope for is to go on Discord or something, but even then, the Discord is pretty much dead on that. Um, Mega Knockdown, kind of the same thing too, although, that's what I was wanting to say. Going on Discord, it feels like, it feels like I'm setting up an appointment, which doesn't feel right. I, I kind of like the randomness. It's one of the reasons why, uh, when uh, streaming pinball, I like playing random tables when I'm not doing tournaments. It just, you never know what you're gonna get. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. You know, that kind of thing. Um, I guess uh, in case you ask, uh, Fantasy Strike, mechanically, it's still one of my favorite games, but the whole, the whole aesthetic, yeah, it, yeah, I, you can't, um, uh... oh, how can I explain it? That, that, uh, yeah, yeah, Babs. Thanks for breaking that up, too. Um, I, act, I took a look at some of my, uh, now, I'm not a slave to YouTube metrics or anything like that, but one thing I did notice, um, fighting games are, kind of in the middle. I guess Fantasy Strikes probably is a lone outlier. All the rest of the fighting games I've played over the years, few people show up for. And the few that do, don't stick around long. Probably because I'm not playing people like Justin Wong, or you know, I'm not playing any high visibility games. So it just... Whereas, um, I checked out Pinball, and it's, it's been this way pretty much ever since I started streaming it. Um, more people, uh, more people come by and check out Pinball than, than they do anything else I play. And they also stick around longer, too. I think, like, average view time's like 15 minutes. This is pretty much unheard of in any other, uh, any other game I play. Again, except maybe, uh, maybe Fantasy Strike. 
But even that thing. I've yet to check the metric on that, but I'm. Hell, that's how you and I met, Jay. I think it was on Fantasy Strike. You, you, you know what went on on those days. But I, I think it was all. That's what I was wanting to say about that. It's not a. Fantasy Strike's not a super popular game. But it does have a community that doesn't live on Discord. Like, they actually. They actually, you know, they actually go on the game. They actually do check out streamers and stuff. MMOs kind of falls in that category. Kind of falls in the bad category. Few people, if any, uh, check out MMOs. And in. And if the ones that do don't stick around long. I mean, hell, I think um, I could probably dig it up, or I'd probably have to go dig it up. But I know when I was streaming Final Fantasy XIV when I first started, there have been days where literally nobody, no one shows up. But yeah, um, Twitch stats. Probably should have done this sooner since. Wasn't expecting to be talking this long, but yeah. Yeah, the silence is going to kind of drive me nuts here, but... But yeah, uh, there have been days where no one shows up. Like, I look at my Twitch stats. Zero, 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 zero. Like, all zeros. Like, no one. But uh, other MMOs I've streamed more or less the same thing. But again, I think Pinball is the one exception where you know lots of people show up and the ones that do they actually stick around um sometimes with streaming gems of war you get i get lucky um you know a fair amount of people show up but average view time one minute And then again, it's um, it's kind of like what Bab said too. It's just, you know, despite you know, despite getting really frustrating at times, I'm actually finding uh, pinball to be more fun and therapeutic than most other games, Gems of War included. So it's pinball is frustrating, but RNG is even more frustrating. So again, there have been times when um, I'll stream Gems of War, or or even play it. Sometimes I have to sit here and watch as uh, as I slowly get my ass kicked by my opponent from something I had no control over. You know, just some bad gem drops, or you know, for uh, uh, some some guy I got on my team that creates gems. I got to sit here and watch that the gems that are created, nothing happens, and I've just basically handed the whole. The whole board to my opponent, so and I gotta basically watch an abject horror as he kicks my ass. Nothing I could have done, you know. So, so again with uh, pinball and um, I guess uh, fighting games as well. It's it's all on me. So more accountability there. But but otherwise, thanks for bringing that up, Jay. Some I had rattling around in my head for a long time. So. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta set my webcam back. Or, uh, before I forget to do it later. Yep. But I don't. But yeah, um, Babs and anybody else that's on. Anybody else that's on. I've been streaming pinball for probably about. About seven, all about seven or eight years, almost when I first when I first started streaming.
But uh, it's it's always been this way. Again, more people check out my pinball streams than they do anything else I stream. And and uh, something I learned recently, they also stick around longer too. You know, they're not they don't just come and go. And then for a while there, especially when I first started streaming pinball, um, I was uh, basically doing this despite me getting all pissed off and frustrated and I got to where if I was for the rare time I actually did stream pinball it was only going to be like once a week just to keep that frustration level down and then I got to where uh, I wouldn't even stream it at all and just I would record like once a week I would record like a, a 15 30 minute short pinball session again just to keep the stress level down but this is, this is where my head was at back then. So things change, things change over the years. And now, now it's getting to where I would rather stream pinball than, um, than my usual, um, my usual stuff, um, RPGs. Actually, I'm going to type down my top five here real quick. And this is one problem that FX3 has that I have no control over. Um, whenever I leave, whenever I leave, uh, leave the game, the audio shuts off. Which, yeah, it's really awkward. So, my number one favorite. Number two, technically it's not a video game, but for me, close enough. So, that's my top five right there. But, uh, once again, I'm at a point where um, I'm all idled out on the idle games. It just, I'm at a point now where I just don't care to do idle games anymore. Tower Defense. Um, I used to stream, uh, Bloons Tower Defense 6, but there's, uh, too many hackers on there. Too many people using hack programs. Um, as far as the, uh, streams themselves, they're almost as popular as my, uh, pinball ones. Because I do, uh, but yeah, I do, I stream Bloons Tower Defense and, uh, I get a whole bunch of people on and a whole bunch of those people, hey, you want to play? Like, yeah, sure. Uh, but back there, there's also the issue of uh, if I'm playing with another player online and if I'm streaming it, it uh, clogs up my stream big time. Not to mention, uh, potentially, the guy I'm running with might be using a hack program, which, uh, no. And then um, one time on there, my identity got stolen. Not... Not severely, but he, uh, this guy took a picture of me of my webcam, used it as a, I think he probably created his own account and he started uh, harassing other people with that account. I even got a message or two saying that that's what they're doing. So luckily, they weren't fooled by it. So, so yeah, no more stream out of that game. And then, um, and then fighting games, uh, number five. So, but again, fighting games are with, um, you probably never heard of it, but Fantasy Strike, it was one of the first games 
for one of the first fighting games that I started playing, like, probably... I want to say seven, eight years ago. It was where uh, me and Jay not laughs where we first met. So, Jay's another person that him and I, we go back a while. Yeah, but like I said, like I said earlier, these days, I only really care to stream pinball now. That, but again, that that could that could change over time too. Yeah, I used to play uh, Killer Instinct fairly often. Um, I used to play the original one, too, back in the 90s. And uh, I also played the uh, I played the uh, recent one for a while. But um, that game there, it it often crashes on my computer. So, yep. <laughs> 